In this video, I will demonstrate how teachers can add questions to a YouTube video to check students' understanding as they watch and assign it in Google Classroom. I will show how students can answer the questions and get real-time feedback on their responses. I will also demonstrate how teachers can view insights like which questions students struggled with. Let's start. Go to the Classwork page, click Create, then Assignment. Enter the title of the assignment. In the attach box, select YouTube. In the pop-up window, we can search for a video or use previously created video activities. For this demo, I will search for a video. I will enter the keywords in the search bar, select the video, then click Add Questions. On the next page, I can click the details to add instructional text and to set the start and end times for the video. Note that content outside the start and end time frame will not appear. To start adding questions, click the Add button. I will first add multiple choice and the question should appear at 123 timestamp. After typing the question, scroll down to enter options. We can shuffle the order of options we can add more options and remove them. Select the correct answer, then click the Save and Continue button. To edit, simply click the question from the Activity Questions list. Let's say I would like the question to be a checkbox type of question. After editing, remember to save. I will add another multiple choice. Add a question and options and set the correct answer. Let me edit the question time to 418. I will follow the same instructions for the next three questions. At this point, I am done adding the questions to the respective timestamp. Before attaching it as an assignment, I will try it as a student first. On the student's view, click Get Started. When the question time is reached, the video will automatically pause and the page will show the question. The student will answer and press submit. He may also rewatch or skip the question. Auto feedback also appears after an attempt. Click continue to proceed. Students will watch the video and answer the remaining options. After all questions have been answered, students should press the Turn In button for the answers to be given credit. Let's go back to the Edit view. The teacher can set the due date and time, may also close submissions after the due date, assign to what particular topic, what grade category, for how many points, and in what specific grading period. Click Assign. At this point, let's review the work of the students. We can see insights like what questions students struggled with and who among the students persevered through multiple attempts on many problems. We can also check how many attempts were made and what answers were given to those attempts. Note that the faded green checkmark across the list of names means more than one attempt. 
Names and scores can also sort the list. To review specific questions and what are the answers of each student, question numbers can be selected at the top of the list. Suppose this student will now be graded, simply select her name from the screen. Go to the right side to add a grade and add a private comment. After that, return the score to the student. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like, comment, and share it with others who might find it useful. Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.